Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about how to save at every stage. If you guys have watched me for a while, you will probably know that I really like to mix and match clothing and accessories. And whilst I definitely like to spend in a lot of areas, there are also a lot of areas where I've learned that it's really possible to save without sacrificing any style. So I thought I would share some of my shopping tips in this video. My shopping habits have definitely changed over the years and I have really changed my opinion on a lot of areas Areas where previously I thought it was really necessary to spend and invest in amazing quality whereas now I have a slightly altered opinion and definitely think there are a lot of areas where you can save as well so I thought I'd share all of my tips here I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started this video is kindly being sponsored by Shoptago, who I have worked with many times before now, and they are seriously one of my favorite online shopping discoveries. It is such an incredibly useful tool, especially if you like online shopping like me. I know so many of you already use and love them, but if you're not familiar with them, if you miss my other videos, then it is essentially an online tool which allows you to save money on your online shopping in a myriad of different ways now. They start off just by allowing you to save items to your shop tagger account and they get notified as soon as the item goes on sale. It is so useful I can't even tell you how much money I've saved using this tool. It's especially useful during sale times as well. I use it a lot during Black Friday January sales. Anytime that there are a lot of sales going on it's difficult to keep track of individual items and this just kind of compiles everything that you really have your eye on into one easy wish list and then sends you notifications as soon as the item goes on sale. They also have so many other features now though as well so they do a new cashback feature which is fantastic they tell you when things are back in stock as well and they also have this amazing feature which I am so in love with which is basically a feature that scans the entire website that you're on at checkout and tells you if there are any applicable discount codes for your order so useful half the time I'm not even aware of the discount code and it will just come up and tell me that I can save some money on my order so, so cool. I will show you quickly now how it all works in a quick tutorial. So this is ShopTagger. I will go ahead and leave a link to download it in the description section if you did want to check it out. The first thing I would recommend doing is making sure you install the ShopTagger button, which is the most useful tool, and you do so right here under apps, and you install it no matter what you're using. I use Chrome, so I just click install right here. Add to Chrome, super simple. Add extension and it will then add ShopTagger to my Chrome. And if you can't see it, if you have a few extensions like I do, I just go ahead and click this button right here. And I always make sure to pin it so it's really easily accessible on my nav bar. So I'm gonna navigate back to my ShopTagger dashboard under my items. And as you can see, here are all my saved items, kind of random bits and pieces from coats that I'm loving to really pricey home decor items, which I'm hoping are gonna go on sale. I have some shampoo, which I love here, just a little bit of everything. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to save an item now. It is super, super simple to do. So you just go onto any website. I'm on my Teresa right now. Click on an item. This new arrival from Bottega Veneta looks amazing and go ahead and save the item by clicking this button. You can actually go ahead and move this as well, just in case it blocks anything, which is so handy. And I can choose when to get notified, if there's any price change, if I wanna add it to a list. So I have a list of super luxe pieces and just click save and it is as simple as that. So when I go right back to my shop tagger dashboard, it is right there waiting for me. You can also activate cashback on so many amazing websites. So I just logged on to Louisa Via Roma and right here in the corner has a popped up a little pop-up saying you can activate 4% cashback. You just click the button and then it will automatically track that. And if you do purchase anything, it will credit that cashback back to you. I also wanted to share with you the discount code feature, which is seriously one of my favorite things. I can't even tell you how much money it has saved me. So I'm still on Louise Villaromi here and I have navigated to this adorable Tory Birch bag. This is their small peri tote. I'm just going to add it to shopping bag. And it's just been added right here. Navigate to my cart. And then when I'm at checkout, up will pop a little window saying coupons found. I'm gonna click, I feel lucky. And what this does is it basically scans the entire website to see if there are any discount codes applicable to your order. So it's going through them right now. 
and it has found a discount code that works. It'll automatically apply it to my order so I can just click continue to checkout and you can see it has automatically applied it and I've saved 15% off my order. So unbelievably great. This code was not advertised on their website and ShopTagger just went ahead and detected it anyway and just applied it to my order. This feature is currently only available via desktop, so I would definitely recommend installing this button so you can get the full functionality. You can also activate cashback as well as obviously save items on their mobile app as well. So I'm here on my Teresa within their mobile app. And I can navigate to any item just like I would on desktop and I can go ahead and save it in exactly the same way while still using that cashback feature as well, just to maximize my savings. So I just click the button right here, the item is saved and I can even go ahead and add it to a list as well. Super simple, it is seriously the best thing and as you can see, it is now in my dashboard as well. So I would definitely recommend downloading ShopTagger on both your mobile and your desktop just to maximize the savings that you can get. So as you can see, it is super simple to use and it's just the most useful thing when it comes to online shopping. And best of all, it is completely free to sign up and completely free to use. There is no cost to you whatsoever. So I would definitely recommend, I will leave the link to sign up in the description section below if you wanted to check it out. I would highly recommend, especially if you like online shopping as much as I do. So my first tip is to really ask yourself what it is that you want from your new bag purchase and ask yourself if you care about the logos and the branding or is it what you're actually after, just a really beautiful, well-made quality bag. And if you are after the logo and the branding, that is totally fine. There is nothing wrong with that. So much of the luxury world is wrapped up in branding and designer names and labels. So that is fine, but it's important to establish that at first because if that isn't the case, then you can actually save a ton of money and still end up with a really, really beautiful bag. One of my favorite examples of this is my clutch, which I think I got this about 10 years ago, maybe a little bit more. I got this from a vintage store in London and it's a beautifully made clutch, really simple. It is just shiny navy leather throughout with a gold clasp right there. And it's very simple, just on the inside it has fabric lining, but I love this and I think it still looks just very elegant and timeless and I still like it as much today as I did when I got it 10 years ago. And this cost me a total of £10. So I absolutely think it's possible if you don't care about the labels to get really beautiful design which is very timeless and which doesn't cost the earth. If however you didn't want to go down the vintage route and you did want something a little bit more luxe but you didn't want to spend thousands, there are so many options and I have three of my favourite brands and bags here within that kind of price point and I'm not saying that these are cheap at all because they're definitely not. I still definitely consider them to be luxury as well, but they don't cost thousands and thousands of pounds. So one of my favorites is Strathbury. I think Strathbury do beautiful bags, really unique designs. I love the detail on them and the leather is absolutely gorgeous and very, very comparable to much higher end options. I do think that they are pretty timeless and just very unique in their design. So a huge fan of Strathbury. Another go-to for me is Senrev. I always feel like Senrev quality is amazing, especially for the price point. I think all of their bags are made in Italy and it absolutely shows they're always so well made. I believe they also have a lifetime guarantee on their bags as well and I think it's just testament to how well made the bags are and even some really really high-end brands don't offer that on their bags. So this is another one if you really care about your leather they do the most beautiful leather options. And then another really nice option is Tory Burch and I have a few different Tory Burch styles. I would say that because of the quantity of bags that Tory Burch produces it is a little bit more hit and miss in terms of what you get. So I'm not saying every single bag that Tory Burch does will be of amazing quality, but I definitely think it's possible to get an amazing quality bag, which looks beautiful, performs really well, and it's just amazing value for money, especially if you can get them on sale, which you often can. So I would always say to wait for a sale at Tory Burch if you can, um, but I've been really, really happy with my styles from them. This is a newer one, um, which I also love, but definitely another option if you did want a really beautiful bag that's lovely quality and you don't want to spend thousands. If however you have your heart set on one particular brand, I know I definitely love my Saint Laurent and my Chanel, then I would always say that pre-loved is another really great way to go. And it's certainly not the easiest way to go. You know, I think it requires a lot more patience and also some caution as well. I think we've all heard horror stories about pre-loved transactions going wrong, 
But if you are careful, and I would always recommend going for a third party authenticator, even when buying from a site that kind of offers authentication, I would always say pay for a third party authenticator for the cost of 30 or $40, I always think it's worth it. But if you are careful and cautious, then I do think it can be a great way to go. Some of my favorite purchases have come from the pre-love market. My first ever Chanel bag that was bought pre-loved. And then my Chanel mini, I also got pre-loved. And I know times have changed and it's not as easy to get a Chanel mini now, but with time and patience, I definitely think it's possible. So that is another great option if you did want to save money. My next tip is to look at a brand's entry level models. And I kind of had those in quote marks because I don't actually think these are entry level, but they are the equivalent. And not every brand does these, but a lot of them do. And it can be a great way to save some money. So the best example I think is Saint Laurent. One of my favorite bags from them is the Saint Laurent wallet on chain. I love this bag, but it retails for about a thousand pounds. But at the lower end, and this is still not a cheap price, I'm aware of that, but you can also get the Uptown Clutch, which is around the 350 pound mark, or otherwise you can get the wristlet as well. And this is about the 550 pound mark. So it's almost half the price of the wall on chain. And I mean, that's a very, very similar look. And you know, they're not the same weight, but I'm not sure how many people really care about weight. I certainly don't. And if I had to do it again, and if this bag came in this colorway, I think it'd be a no brainer. You know, this is such a similar style. It's a very similar look. And this is still amazing quality for half the price. That is definitely a good one. Again, not every brand does it, but it's certainly worth doing your research to see if the brand that you're looking at does a similar kind of option where you can save a lot of money. And then my fourth and my fifth tips are more related to online shopping. And I've mentioned these both before, but I still very much think that they stand true. Uh, number four is wait it out for a discount code. And you know, you're not gonna get a discount code off everything. You know, you're not getting it off Chanel or Louis Vuitton, but certainly off a lot of other amazing designer brands. It is fully possible to get fairly generous discount codes. And here I'm thinking of Valentino and Chloe and Mulberry. It is definitely possible to save on some really, really beautiful brands. I would also say it is not necessary to wait until specific times of year. And I think last Black Friday showed us that really sale schedules are constantly changing. And I've been covering Black Friday now for I think like four years. And every single year it's different in terms of the kind of discounts offered and the types of sales retailers are doing. And more and more I see more kind of luxury stores offering discounts throughout the year, especially kind of the blanket discount codes or the blanket offers where you can get money off kind of full price merchandise and more and more for Black Friday and the big sale events, they're really resorting to clearance type sales, which for me personally, they're never quite as good. I would much rather kind of have a blanket discount code. So I'd say don't wait it out for Black Friday. I definitely didn't think that the Black Friday sales beat what was on offer kind of in the previous months. So if you see a good discount code, I would always say just to go for it because there's no guarantee that it's gonna get better. And my fifth shopping tip when it comes to bags is be open to international pricing and different websites. And this is kind of a multi-purpose approach, but one, I think there are great deals to be had if you are open to shopping at different websites. I mentioned it before, but if you're in the US, for example, look at different websites that are available in the UK and Europe because luxury goods are so much cheaper here. Selfridges is one example, you can get some great deals and it's not all the time off everything, but it's definitely worth it. If you do have some time in your hands, you can save hundreds of dollars off amazing items like Saint Laurent bags and Chloe bags. I'd also be aware of price increases as well. One thing I did see during the last Saint Laurent price increase where some websites were slower to kind of catch on than other websites. So saintlaurent.com went immediately live with their kind of price increase. But on my Teresa, I saw some of the same bags available at a lower price for many weeks afterwards because they just hadn't increased the price yet. So whenever a price increase happens, I would definitely check on that because it's a good way to beat the price increase if it did catch you off guard. Next up are shoes and my list for shoes isn't nearly as comprehensive as it is for bags, uh, mainly because pretty much all the tips I mentioned for bags are also applicable for shoes and other accessories as well. But two things specifically I did wanna mention for shoes. 
Number one is if you did have your eye on a specific, very expensive luxury pair of shoes, I would always say to try and wait it out if you can because it is almost always possible to find luxury shoes available on sale and not just kind of a little sale, you know, when it comes to luxury bags, if you can find 10, 15% off a Saint Laurent bag, I think that's a great deal now. But when it comes to designer shoes, you really should be looking at a much bigger discount. So the minimum I'd be looking at here is 20%. And sometimes you can find amazing deals, you know, 40 to 50% off as well, depending on what you're looking for. So I would definitely say, you know, the vast, vast, vast majority of shoe styles, they are available much more readily on sale and at discount. So always wait out if you did have something in mind. And the second tip, and this is more of a style one, but I would always say that when it comes to kind of building a curated wardrobe, I personally would always stick to more classic shoe models just because you're more likely to get bang for your buck. And this is going to depend on your style as well. If you have a kind of more edgy style than I do, then you may get a lot more use out of your statement shoes. But certainly for me, my most worn designer shoes in my wardrobe are the ones that are the easiest to pair. And those are usually just very classic, simple pumps rather than my kind of more crazy statement shoes. So just a comment on style. If you wanted the best bang for your buck, I would always say go for a classic style and always try and wait it out for a discount. Next up is clothing and my approach to clothing is kind of the opposite to my approach with accessories. You know, I'm much more kind of willing and happy to spend on accessories versus clothing just because I think you get more bang for your buck. You know, I think it's possible to splurge on one accessory and upgrade your whole look versus designer clothing where, you know, you can spend from head to toe and you're still not really guaranteed to get a good result. So I have definitely over the years kind of honed in on particular retailers, which I think do a very lovely piece which don't cost the earth and look way more expensive than they are. So I thought I'd run through my favorite categories and my favorite retailers for each. Now I'm not saying this is the definitive list, I shop in all kinds of places, but these are my go-to retailers for kind of each category. Unfortunately, I can't try these things on for you because currently we are living in a building site. There are works going on in pretty much every single room in the house, so I will just pop in photos where I can. First up, skirts and my kind of go-to retailer for skirts, especially my pleated skirts are ASOS. I mentioned this before, but ASOS are so fantastic for a variety of different items and it's definitely hit or miss, but I have found some absolute gems at ASOS. You have to search, um, but skirts are always a go-to that I look for when on the ASOS website. Two of my favorites here, this beautiful pink one, which I love to bits. I also own this in the red color and it's been a go-to of mine ever since I got it. This camel one is also from ASOS. And pleated skirts are just so wonderful, you know, they're really easy to wear. And I own pleated skirts, which are much more expensive than this. And is there a massive quality difference between them? I don't think so. They kind of swish in the same way. They look pretty much the same when you put it together. And these are about 20 to 25 pounds. So really inexpensive, easy to dress up or down and just really useful wardrobe staples that look way more expensive than they are in my opinion. Next up are tops. And when it comes to t-shirts, especially the kind of classic white tee, my favorite are from Nordstrom. I do not believe that all white t-shirts are created equal. And I love these because they are super comfortable to wear. They're really easy to throw on. And also crucially, they wash really well as well. I have absolutely bought t-shirts before and they look great on the first wear. I've washed them and they just completely lose their shape. Whereas that is not the case with these. So. I love these. They definitely aren't the cheapest round, but they aren't kind of crazy expensive. I've seen some t-shirts which are hundreds of pounds, which is just completely nuts to me. Whereas this one is, it's not kind of too cheap. It's not too expensive. It's just in the middle and they do wash and wear fantastically well. Next up are silk shirts. And I have silk shirts from a few different places, but I think my favorite is probably Everlane, which is where I just get my plain silk shirts. I always get asked about this one in particular in this pretty blue color and it's from Everlane and I love them. Now these aren't particularly cheap and I don't think that to get kind of really beautiful silk shirts, you're ever gonna find an absolute bar bargain because it is just an expensive material. But that said, for the price these are, I do think that they represent very good value for money and mine have washed and worn very, very well. So really happy with these and would definitely recommend if you are after a very classic silk button down. 
Now for dresses, and I would say dresses are a category where it's a little bit more all over the place for me, just because I've had dresses from so many different retailers which I have been really happy with. Um, but if I was looking for a kind of particular kind of dress, then my two first go-tos are one, ASOS, and especially ASOS design as well. It's always a kind of search term I type into their search bar. Um, ASOS design is really underrated, I think. I've had some really beautiful pieces from there, and you know, they aren't the cheapest things on ASOS website but I found the quality to be surprisingly good and the designs are always very on trend so ASOS design is always a favorite and also H&M as well. I wouldn't say H&M for as many form-fitting pieces I don't feel like their cuts are as good but certainly for more flowy looser pieces I think there are some great options out there for really really affordable prices. Next up are coats, and coats are a little bit more of a tricky one. Um, I do think it's possible to definitely save on coats and get some beautiful options. Zara is one which I always make sure to check out if I'm after something particular. I'd also say J. Crew do some really, really beautiful coat options, and it's almost always possible to get them on sale as well. So I'd say full price, there may be a little bit more on the high side, um, but if you can wait out for a sale, you can nab some fantastic bargains. I have so many coats from J. Crew, and they've always done me very very well. My mum is a huge fan as well. Her daily coat is from J. Crew, and for the price and the quality that you're getting I really don't think they can be beat. And then finally my very last category is sweaters and I specifically wanted to mention cashmere sweaters because I know it's such a popular one to both kind of buy for yourself and other people and cashmere comes at a variety of price points. And I have two examples here. I have cashmere sweaters from a whole bunch of different brands but I think these two kind of represent the starkest of contrast so one are uh, my beloved halogen cashmere sweaters. I talk about these a lot. They are an absolute staple in my wardrobe. I own them in so many colors and I just think they are fantastic. And the other one is a Theory cashmere jumper, which I think was about 350 pounds. So definitely a lot more expensive. I think the halogen ones run for, I think on sale they're about 55 pounds and with tax, I guess it's maybe like 70 pounds um, in dollars. I'll pop the dollar price on screen because I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but a huge, huge price difference. And honestly, is there a difference? Maybe slightly, but I can't even say with any real confidence that the Theory one is any nicer. I will insert photos of me wearing them and you'll be able to see that the difference is negligible, like you can't really tell. And I think it's such a clear example of an area where it's absolutely possible to, you know, still invest in nice quality, but without spending absolutely loads, you know, hundreds and hundreds of pounds, because you can get something which is very similar for a fraction of the price. So that is it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it, you found it useful. Let me know in the comment section below where your favorite areas to save in your wardrobe are. I would love to hear about it, especially if you have any tips and I'm sure other people would as well. As promised, I will leave the link to Shop Tagger in the description section if you did want to check it out. If you have any questions for me, then leave me a comment. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.